Hello everyone, this is Mr. Visual here with another video. Today we are going to make it simple but exciting. We are going to customly construct doors in ArchiCAD. Architecture projects vary with the design and the style and doors are one of the significant um, details or features of that. Hence, we need to create doors that will suit or address the needs and style of the project. Without any further ado, let's get started. But before we start, let me ask you guys to subscribe and hit that notification bell, guys, to be notified for more videos um, like this one. Also, share, like this video for the YouTube algorithm so that we can keep uh, pushing to thrive of delivering valuable content to you guys. Most important thing to consider is the members or the parts that are involved in putting together of this nice door. We have um, the top rails and then the bottom rail um, on the sides, the vertical members are the hinge side uh, and then we have the lock side. That is important. The first step, we're going to scale down this. I already put together here a wall and I placed a door on it. It's a door of 900 meters, I mean 900 width and then 2.1 or 2.100 um, height. So we're going to scale down this to the width. For example, I'm going to select it and then I'll hit Control K to bring the resize window. I'll make sure everything is okay and hit okay like so. And then I'll pick the first point then the second point then i will reduce this to um sorry 900 like so perfect let me drag it there to the door perfect now we have um everything in place so remember guys our door is going to be used or is going to be placed using archicad uh to uh, archicad door 2 so what we're just creating here is the leaf, not the frame. The frame is going to be taken from the door too. So if I can put this in 3D, just to demonstrate that. We're only creating the leaf, which is this part. And then this part has members. We have this top rail and then the bottom rail. Then we have <clears throat> these two vertical members of the frame, which is the hinge side and then we have the lock side so we can have an extra or the third member or the third rail in the middle here for also provision of the lock so d depending on the design but our design has a lot of uh, rails or panels on it so that's what we're going to look at so the best way to craft this before we can save is to use a slab tool so I'm going to pick the slab tool from our design tool palettes. So where is the slab? There we go. And then I'll make sure the structure of the slab is just a basic. Then I'll change the materials to timber. This is going to be wood, a wood door. So just pick any wood here. Just pick, I'll pick timber structure for example and then with this um uh, thing i need to change the height the height of the our slab will represent the thickness of our door so what i want us to understand is that <clears throat> um the thickness of our door it's a composition it's a composition of layers of materials so we're going to put together all those layers we have the finish or the panels on both sides on both sides of the door and then we have the frame inside the frame has also the internal um, structure where it supports or to make our door uh, more stronger so that's the thing that you need to put into consideration here i want us to key in 30 30 will represent the internal structure um, thickness of our door and then okay so from from the uh, dialog settings i'll go to model to make sure the override services are unactive i'm going to depend on the materials everything from building materials hit okay so what i'm going to just gonna do here i'm going to draw the rectangle using geometry method of a rectangle to draw 
the size of a leaf. So this is going to be 900 and uh, 2.1, just like that. I don't know why it's um, okay. It's because when we when we used um, or when we resized this image, we were using the total width instead of the leaf only. So what I'll do, I'll say Control K again to resize it, and then I'll make sure uh, my 900 is just the leaf. So I'll pick it there, and then I'll pick another point then stretch it to the width to 900 just like that so now i'm certain that my door represent what i want just like that okay i can reduce the height to suit this one let's just stretch this to there instead of having 2.1 let me see how the height will be i'll measure up hit M on the keyboard to measure is going to be 1.9 of which is is it falls under standards standards of uh, door size perfect now we have the structure um, we can check it on 3d let's control I mean f5 to check it this is just basically a, a slab let's go back to our floor plan and then from here i'm going to um drag a copy of this you can click on the edge and then control oh i thought it would work it only works with uh, the offset all edges but in this case it's fine i can just use it just to make a copy like so and then this i'm going to stretch it to make this uh hinge side sorry um the the lock side member which is this which is this guy so if you check this two on on the 3d let's hit f5 to show only selection on 3d this is how his situation is but I, i'm going to change the thickness of this to 40 that would, that would represent the total width of the the door I'll make it 40 and then I'll, the offset from the uh, base is going to be 10 oh sorry no five so, so that it can be center to center just like this it makes sense right so another thing let's go back to the ground so we're going to make this members so i'm going to do the same thing i'll pick the parameters of this guy and then i'll just draw over this for now i won't be um, certain with the sizes but i'll just use as a sketch there we go and then if you look at it on uh, if you look at it on 3d let's mark you this and then f5 this is what you get so this let's change the material to steel it's going to be we can use any steel for now let me just see what we can use let's pick stainless steel is fine stainless steel is fine and i can overwrite the the materials to Pick something like bronze. Let's see. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, don't worry about this um, situation here. We're going to solve it. I'm sure you're saying, ah, that is not the way it's supposed to be. It's fine. And then let's go back to our blend view. What I'm going to do, this one I will change the material to... I'll override the material also maybe let me use something like wood pine if i have pine or oak oak light uh, let's check on the 3d this is what we have okay so i'm going to now duplicate this or multiply this along the height of my door so 
I will go back to the ground floor. From here, I'll select this with one of, one of the points. Then the pet palette will pop out to pick multiply to. And then I'm going to use um, distribution or increment. So increment and spread is, is also fine. So, but make sure you are on, on drag. So hit OK. And then what I would do, I'll pick this edge and then make sure it addresses this groove like so. Then I will run it along that. Yeah, in most cases you have situations like this. But before you do that, I'll take advantage of the selection. Let me select also this. I'll add this to selection. What I'm going to do, I'm going to control G to group these members. It's it's a good workflow, guys. It's a very good practice to group multiple members for easy management. So I'll select this. Make sure the groups are unsuspended. Then I'll just stretch this to address the, the height of that. Perfect. If you check on the 3D, this is what you will get. Very straightforward. And then now I'm going to use um, solid element operations to subtract these members because remember these are just um, panels that are added on the structure of the door. This core part of this is the structure, which is this which is uh, this member, as you can see. So what I will do, I will right click on the screen here and then go to connect solid element operation. In this case, because I've selected uh, something on the screen, it will pick it as a target. So what I will do, the target here is the panels and this um, lock side uh, member of which I'm going to change this operation to the operator. This will be the operator. And then these guys, um, let me suspend groups and then pick them as the target. Oh, I forgot this one also. So I'm going to have 19 targets, which is these members and then that. So what I'll do, I'll just use subtract, subtraction operation and then execute. It will clean up now the, let me close that. As you can see, now it will clean up your door composition. So you have a nice structure. And then on the sides is the panels. Then also in this area also has been captured. Just like that. From here, you go back. And then I'm going to save this so that it can be applied in this door. Let me just mark you that. And uh, so we're going to see now how we can apply this design to this door. So I'm going to go to the ground um, or to the plan. I'm going to save this now as a door. So let me unselect the image. I'm going to select this and then go to file, um, libraries and objects, save selection as a door. Then from there, you can create <clears throat> a new folder in this window and then call them, no, call it uh, doors, something like this. And then this door also, you can give it a name. And then let's hit save. So it's very, very important to define um, the attributes of uh, your your door before you can hit OK. In terms of the surfaces, uh, the line types, the pens, the building materials. Remember this is key for your documentation part, your drawings, your, your um, um, schedules. It's very, very important. So spend time to think about this here. You can now edit if you want. Okay, the, the pens, I'm going to use um, pen two from the color table. Let me just use that. 
so building materials are fine the services are also fine and then i will hit ok so from here now the door will be saved in custom uh, embedded library so what i'll do we need just to select this and then go to settings dialog from there we're going to go to the hinged door settings or door settings under leaf there is this door leaf we can check custom custom leaf so that um, we can go here on this tab hit this little tab and then let's check oh it's not it's not yet updated I don't know what may be the case but let's reset it again I'm going to file libraries and objects selection save selection as as a door from here I'll put it under this library this object has no preview picture um, we can use that picture as our preview or we just use the geometry of the door so let me just save one save so if i check this go to settings dialog it's not yet updated i don't know why it's not yet updated so what we can do maybe let's replace this click on that if you say door tutorial no um i'm making a huge mistake you guys i'm sorry for that so instead of saving this as a door we must save it as a leaf not as a door as a door leaf file and then libraries and objects let's go to save selection as and then as a door leaf sorry about that guys then i'm going to put it under this you say door leaf one is fine for the sake of this tutorial and then this window will pop out here this there is a new custom door leaf blah 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 will be available in the settings of dialog boxes of relevant object which recognize it so that means this now is being put into um, as an embedded library so i'm gonna hit ok and then from there let's select this or maybe on the my queue let's select that and then go to settings from here we'll see now it's available from the custom door leaf just hit ok there we go we have our door now as you can see really nice it's a nice door thank you guys for tuning in in this video um i hope this gave you a lot of uh, insight on how you can go about enhancing your your designs guys so i think i'll see you in the next video but if you want this um this done we have something that we created if you go to this we have a new hundred um modern door pack that is recently um published if you mark you here check on the 3d let's check on the 3d i don't know why it's it's taking this is what we have it's a uh, an amazing designs of uh, uh different door styles that you can just copy paste or use for your projects so i'll put the link in the description so you guys can go and download this um yes thank you guys once again for tuning in i'll see you in the next video cheers